I'm an executive assistant in the Financial and Risk Division of Thomson Reuters. I work at Thomson Reuters in the credit management team in Canary Wharf in London. I work in internal communications supporting corporate responsibility and inclusion and UK benefits. I'm a senior marketing executive in the legal business at Thomson Reuters. I work for Thomson Reuters Legal. I've worked for the company for nearly 22 years. I'm a web marketing executive at Thomson Reuters Legal UK. I'm a senior director of talent and development focused on early careers in corporate human resources at Thomson Reuters. I'm a big football fan and I love boxing. I recently took part in a white collar boxing match last year on my 28th birthday. I love cooking, uh, I love good wine and I love music. I've got three wonderful grandchildren. I enjoy football, I enjoy a lot of walking. I've got a marvellous uh, wife and uh, family generally. I like my exercise, so I cycle, I run and I do yoga. I'm a really big lover of the arts. Outside of work, I love creative things. I'm a huge geek, so I love Superman and Batman. I love comic books, comic book films. I love reading books, I love astronomy, I love going out with friends, listening to a lot of music, and I try to do that as much as possible to make sure that I'm making myself happy doing the things that I love. I was diagnosed with post-viral depression about 30 years ago. Um, that was the toughest time because it was the first time it ever happened to me. Um, since then I've had a couple of occurrences in the last two years, but not that many but uh, it still knocks you for six when it happens. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with trichotillomania, which is a compulsion to pull your own hair out. Uh, some people say that it's related to obsessive compulsive disorder, some people say self-harm, some say anxiety, some say stress. Um, whatever the reason, I pulled my own hair out for 23 years. I first remember suffering from depression from about the age of 12, but not really realising what it was at that stage. And when I turned 17, I actually contemplated taking my own life. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Um, and after that, I sought counselling for the first time, uh, where I had counselling for four or five years. I was in a really foreign and new professional environment. The stress of the jobs, the triggers of trying to prove yourself in a very different way. It was initially something that I battled myself. I didn't think that I was actually suffering from anything. I didn't really believe that you could have a mental health issue that could be serious. I was just out and about doing my regular day, going shopping, I was on a bus. And completely out of the blue, I just couldn't breathe. Um, anxiety completely overwhelmed me. I didn't know what it was at the time. Um, walking was one of the things that cleared my head, got me out of the norm, if you like, and allowed me time to think, because you have to focus your mind on certain things and that allows you to, to get away from um, the bad points. I have seen various psychologists, psychiatrists and counsellors over the years. Um, the psychologists and psychiatrists are interesting because uh, they explain the chemical reasons as to why you suffer from depression. I would highly recommend anyone who has ever been wronged by someone or felt hard done by or felt they were in the wrong for something just to learn to overcome and forgive that person because ultimately you're the only one that's wrestling with that. The person who might have done something wrong to you might not have any idea of what they did to you. I actually went to HR to check that it was okay to have a shaved head as opposed to wear my wig because my wig was incredibly uncomfortable and after four months um, it wasn't looking great either. After some years of therapy that really helped me find my purpose and truly believe that I could do anything, find the confidence to really track my life the way I wanted to track it. Now I've been dealing with, uh, with my depression by myself. Having a name, having a diagnosis uh, was a real help. Um, it made me understand what was wrong. Uh, it gave me something to uh, look at and focus on um, and to realise that actually I might have had this for longer than I thought. So the path forward after realising that I had a problem and, and finally learning that I could do something about it was long. Um, I worked through this for many years personally and professionally and now many years later I can talk about it. I can actually go to people and, and take away the taboo and the shame that I felt in the past and become open and transparent about it and it doesn't affect me the way that it used to. So I I've learned coping mechanisms and I've learned that I can have this as a part of my life but equally I have power to do something about it. I'm Frank and this is me. I am Katie and this is me. I'm Daniel and this is me. My name is Helen and this is me. My name is Nikki and this is me. My name is Leo Mello and this is me.
My name is Ilona and this is me.